Hello, 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 hello. Hi, friends. It's been a while. How are you doing? Greetings from Spain. Are you already there? That's fantastic. <laughs> Ay. Lovely. I will be talking today with my friend Thorsten about our beautiful release. Outlanders, Outlanders, Outlanders. Mm, finally, it's out. I am still fighting. Yay! Thorsten is there. I'm still fighting jet lag. Yay! Go live! Is it connecting? Is it connecting? I put it there. Why not? Hold on. Hey! Hey! Hey, my friend! Where are you? In your car! <laughs> oh, I'm on my way back from Berlin, so... Oh, gosh! Really? Seriously? Traveling? Yeah, I had to do this, unfortunately, in the car. No worries! At least we can see each other, we can hear each other. How are you doing, Thorsten? It's been so long. It's been too long, exactly, exactly. Thank you. It's been unbelievable. So what, what you were doing in Berlin? Oh, you were breaking up a second. Yeah. Wait for that. No. You were in Berlin, having holidays or work? Yeah, I have holidays, so I use, uh, use the time to, you know, visit some friends, family, and uh, it's my yearly visit in Germany, so I'm trying to, you know, just see the family once in a year before I go back to my island. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I miss the island. Wow. Your family all good? All good? Everyone is good, and um, actually the girls are with me, so Jamie and Leila, they're, they're also with me, which is great. So it's a, it's a little family trip with my girls. Oh, that's fantastic. That sounds really nice. I just came home. I'm still kind of jet lagged uh, with a nine hour difference. <laughs> we, I had a US tour and I had a show in um, Switzerland. And so I'm kind of like, hmm. Yesterday morning, I woke up at 5.30 in the morning, um, started like a Duracell rabbit doing things. And today I slept until 1 p.m. That has never happened. <laughs> it's crazy. You look. Yeah. I don't see any sign of tiredness. I I don't don't know. Know. Right, uh, it's a, it's just the makeup. <laughs> no, great, thank you. Hey, but what do we have here? It's so nice. Oh, I was. I mean, I, I, I got it a little bit later than everyone. Because I had, um, I got it um, sent to my German address, um, which is um, close to Frankfurt. So at my mom's house. And so it was waiting there. And when it arrived, of course, I posted a little video when I was unwrapping it and it's the color, it's the, and it's so, so beautiful. Oh my God. And and then there's this lovely pic from, from us on, on it, which is like about 10 years ago. Oh my, time was- <laughs> When we were beautiful and young. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah but it's the color of the vinyl is so beautiful i have the vinyl here too but i i, I have one hand so i can't, can't really unwrap it but it's such a beautiful it was a surprise for me of course i was working on it and i was preparing it and everything but finally when i had it in my hands i was like wow it's really pretty i'm very happy it turned out to be really really nice hmm and I think this is, uh, could be a future classic also, you know, for vinyl lovers and with our amazing setup of guest musicians and guitar players. Um, I actually, in fact, reconnected my vinyl player because I didn't use it anymore. And now because of Outlanders, it got reconnected and um, back on, on vinyl now. And I have to say, I enjoy it just to put a record on and the needle on and it's just a different feeling than listening to Spotify or something. So, it yeah. have been there. 
I mean, we have been there, we have done it. Oh my God, how many times I've been playing my old records like that, my vinyl records when I was a kiddo. But the kids of today, they don't know about it. They, they have no experience with it. So I think that many, because I know that we also have young followers and young listeners. So I'm sure that they will also enjoy that experience for them for the first time in a way. But, you know, for us, it's nice to go back and kind of refresh. Yeah, I'm also, we are also with my husband, Marcelo, we are also starting to gather around vinyls and it's really nice. It's really, really nice. Yeah, the really positive trends that um, it reappears suddenly. And um, I love it because we've been through a long time now of just everything online, virtual um, uh, streaming. And suddenly I think people crave or everyone is craving to have something real in, 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 in your hands. Yeah. So the touch, it's a sensation. You can take it out. And, and it's something that you own. So I love that feeling that you own something. Yeah. And I, uh, a lot of young fans that we have, they also enjoy it. Um, there's, there's a new, I think there's a kind of new trend, you can say, in that younger age group that suddenly think, oh, it's so cool. That's a vinyl and, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy about that. To yeah. Be yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it took us a long time to, <laughs> to wrap this up, but we did it. We did it. And actually, it's like crazy. It's crazy how the time flew. But hey, because we were not in a hurry. We're both busy with different things. And then again, the pandemic came. I hate to talk about it, but it really gave us the chance to wrap this up and, and finish it and do the rest of the production, do the rest of the recordings, ask the guitar players to join us. And everybody in a way, when it was that very strange period of time, you know, nobody knew how the hell, how long this will take and where it will take us. The guitar players, as incredible that they all are, these guests on our record, they were all capable and willing to do this. Nobody was touring everybody was at home and we we managed to do it and I'm so so glad that they all found it interesting and beautiful and they really did so incredible job incredible it's like oof. wow I, I mean I was really blown away when we got um, the guitar parts for the songs and it was coming together and um, I was just sitting there and of course I mean, it was a disaster for everyone. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. But somehow it had also this positive effect that we got access. Everybody had more time and we were able to wrap it. I mean, who knows if we would have finished it till today. You know what I mean? Under normal circumstances, everyone would have been on tour. Nobody would have had time, uh, even more, more touring. And, and so everybody had time and, and gaps in their, in their schedules. Yeah. I think it was a... It was a curse and a blessing also. Exactly. No, it was exactly like you said. And yeah, but it, it's so nice that um, if people get to listen this record, uh, they will see the difference between the songs. There, is, um, there are our songs, but they are very different from each other. There is a certain red line, of course, it goes through. It's us behind the songs, but the flavor that the guitar players add to those songs it's it's incredible it's incredible the guitar is as important element as my voice or your production so it's like wow uh, we really it, it's it's a special special album i'm very proud of it hmm. i think too and I'm, i i think also that um, i can't even tell you what my favorite song is i, I think it's a beautiful journey to listen to all of them and um, I, I, I read about some I read some critics about it and um, what I really like is that even very musical let's say rock music journalists gave us very positive um, feedback and recessions because they think also it's it's uh, special and they um, you know in our days and in, in, in time of singles who are two minutes fifty um, you know, on our songs are seven minutes and eight minutes and ten minutes. Um, we didn't give a shit about no. to be, to, to be uh, frank. Uh, no. Sorry, excuse my language. So uh, it's music, and it 
have to breathe and we don't, we don't care. We actually, yeah, we, we gave everyone enough time. Uh, people are appreciating that, that we didn't cut solos, you yeah. know, everything full length. And uh, like back in the days, I mean, um, who would, who would tell the doors, uh, riders of a storm is too long. You know what I mean? So, so, um, yeah, I think that's something special about it. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah, exactly. Bohemian Rhapsody. Well, the story, the label didn't want to cut it as a single. Uh, the band went all along with it and you see the song. <laughs> But yeah, no, no cutting out. And it's the emotion that drove us with these songs, and they are emotional songs. So it's really like that. Hmm. Wow. But yeah, it's so beautiful to have it, have it done. And hey, I believe, you know, because I am kind of feeling like I, I want to keep on writing songs. So I want to. Now that we have it, I want to keep on writing songs. And I, I wish that you could also do that. I mean, anytime you have feeling like, I, hmm, this could be a great Outlander song. Send me over things. Yep. It, it would be good. And you know that we have already one guitar player waiting for. <laughs> Let's zip it. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. <laughs> Let's not talk about that person yet. But uh, yeah, there is a person waiting for me to write a song and so it will continue the story call them i'm in my studio waiting for you yeah <laughs> yeah i know i know oh yeah but hey so many people have been asking us that if we are ever gonna tour again one call i'll be there <laughs> <laughs> just thinking about the how the heck where can we find a guitar player that could really deliver everything that is on this it must be it must be a re reincarnation of the world-class guitar we have to find i mean it's going to be a, a challenge for whoever is that person but yeah who knows maybe we find the super talent yeah exactly yeah it would be fun though if you think about it it would be fun hey but you are you are playing dj shows you are playing gigs as a dj still today right definitely i cannot hear you this shit is cutting all the time <laughs> you hear me now yes yes oh i I'm playing shows. Yeah, I'm, I play. Um, I play a show in Frankfurt, also Frankfurt next Saturday. But that's all very like club music, techno kind of direction. Yeah. And I play on the 29th of um, this month. So I'm a little bit around, and more gigs are coming. So, yeah, it's kind of I enjoy to to go back to DJing a little bit. You know, I don't want to do it too much. I I couldn't do what what you're doing in your career and in your past years this huge touring and uh, i mean that energy that you have i think i couldn't i couldn't uh, do that um you have my highest admiration for you know having so much power to do this tours and i only went on tour with my daughter just going with her and after 30 shows i thought i'm, I'm gonna call up and and you you play like over 100 in, in a year so, um, yeah, just uh, to mention that, but uh, it's a different, a different story. Yeah, it's a, in a way, you know, um, in a way I feel like I'm a, because I'm a performer, I'm, I enjoy the studio work as well. I enjoy recordings and all that, but I am a performer. So you, whether you kind of, I, I feel that I was born with it, sort of, it is not easy easy the life on the road is never easy but i think it kind of keeps me young in here you know i i go through through the struggle through the trouble i uh, challenge myself constantly it's a mental but also very physical work so i need to all the time you know be above you know kind of put myself some 
goals where I need to try to reach. Um, but it's, it's what I love. It's that love is uh, the word. I really enjoy that so much. Mm. Also, when you play your music live, you see um, a direct reaction from the, your audience. And, and you create your music in the studio, or write a song by yourself, and then you play this song, and then you see people, you know, freaking out to it, or, you know, showing emotions, smiling or crying or whatever. And that is really, I think, why we're doing music, essentially, to, to have this connection to your fans and to the people who share this passion of music. And I, I am totally understand why you need this, why you need to be out there. Yeah, exactly. No, it's, it's, the, it's very pure and it's very real. It's love. It's a passion that we have as musicians. Um, so it's very, it's amazing gift to be able to share it with your audience. And that's the thing, really. Hmm. I'm just checking. I was here having a <laughs> one message. What? Hey, do you have any? Oh, yeah. I was thinking to ask you if you have any memories, Thorsten, when we were creating the songs, any particular memories you had, what happened or something that really made you itch a bit or... <laughs> My worst memory was when my hard drive was crashing. <laughs> and we just recorded vocals and everything. And, and I couldn't believe it that, that we lost it. And it was like a new drive. So I planned to do the backup, but I didn't do it. Um, since then, I, I saved everything double. But we lost some recordings. And I mean, thanks God, we were able to recreate but that was for me a, a complete shock moment um but also i have to say i think the album is better because yeah. of that um because some previous mixes that have that we've done we kind of improved everything so if you i mean maybe it was some kind of god some change it or whatever or the universe whoever whatever you believe but at the end i think the product is is what it is because through that process it took it took a bit longer and yeah i think that that was my shock moment when we lost a lot of the recordings and we had to start some stuff from scratch yeah i remember well i think i recorded some vocals for third three times or both four times or something like that <laughs> every time better every time better i think you know <laughs> I say, I say in my own productions, you know, when I'm working for my rock albums, re recording my vocals, I have to stop in one point and say, okay, this is, this is it. And, you know, I, I don't even dare to go back and visit those recordings again days after. I leave it for my mental health. I need, <laughs> I need to just, you know, be very happy and satisfied with what it is. But okay, what happened, happened in our production and I had to, but it was good too. So I didn't, in a way, it was not a bad thing at all, uh, as you said. So it's, um, everything happens for purpose, right? <laughs> but they say it was the only thing that kept me going. I thought like, there must be a reason for this. <laughs> because I almost smashed my computer after that. I was, yeah, I'm, I'm going to freak out now, but yeah. Jesus. But uh, there you're living in an island. You are living in an island, in a very teeny tiny one, where the electricity cuts and where the uh, rain is falling from the sky like, ah, like the tropical storms and hurricanes and what else? God knows. <laughs> no, it's always an adventure, definitely. <laughs> but I miss Antigua. I miss Antigua. So you are heading back to Antigua actually now. Oh no, you still stay in Frankfurt or? Frankfurt, I, I'll be back in about uh, two weeks. I'm a little bit longer here. Oh, okay. That's great. Well, it's very warm in Germany too, right? Almost the same temperature. I was kind of shocked when I arrived here and it's like also 30 degrees. Like we have 30 degrees and it's the same temperature here. I'm like, wow. I mean, the only difference, there's no water and no wind. So it's like even hotter. I think. Um... I was in Switzerland. Uh, I played a late show 
in a festival and I was sweating like a pig with the leather pants, with the, <laughs> with the leather top and with the long sleeve coat on and I was dripping. Oh my God, 9.45 in the evening started the show and it was like, oh. no, why I always choose these kind of really uncomfortable outfits. <laughs> I lost five pounds probably. <laughs> The show. We should go on tour in the summer <laughs> and just get for myself. <laughs> Maybe I can jump around a little bit on the stage, so I'm losing five pounds too. So. <laughs> I can get you as my backing round dancer, background dancer. Exactly. <laughs> that would be something. <laughs> oh my god. There are lots of people commenting. Lots of, have you seen how many pop-ups there are all the time? People commenting like crazy. Yes, it, it's it's really cool. Yeah, it's unbelievable. But, and I mean, we have really big fans that always support us and try to repost everything. But sometimes it's too much of the same, and then I don't want to bore you know other people I, on my stories because I post a hundred stories who are like kind of the same. So I'm not reposting everything, but I try to be, you know, always um, commenting and always, I'm always thankful for every, every support, every comment, everyone who's like showing some love. Um, I'm, I'm happy about it. Yeah, absolutely. Now the fans are the best. I mean, you people, you are, you are the best. You keep us, you keep us doing what we do, what we love to do. And that is, um, we, we must be grateful for that. And you must know that. I mean, it's it's really like that. Yeah, people have received our first baby project, Outlanders, really well. It's uh, it's been amazing that this thing, being so very different from anything that I have done in my life, uh, at least even you, Torsten. So um, um, it's great that there are so many open-minded people out there music lovers in general, they can find our project. Beautiful. What's next? <laughs> what next? Yeah. Your shows. God, you're cutting. I, I can't hear you. What? 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 Oh, I just said, what's next? You relax after all your shows you've did. I'm leaving day after tomorrow to Czech Republic. I am having a Masters of Rock festival there. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Um, it's going to be really, really big festival. Very nice. Nice to oh. Czech, Czech Republic is always good. Always fantastic. And I have friends there. I have um, friends, many bands that I know, the people from the bands that are playing there on the same day. There's going to be Within Temptation, Sharon, my very good friend, is there. So, yeah. But that then after that, I have almost two weeks of rest before the next one in Finland. I go back to my home country. So it's good. You don't stop, my God. I mean, it's, yeah. It's like almost retired. And I see how many shows you play. <laughs> but it's good. It's summertime, Thorsten, here in Europe, you know. Um, there are a lot of festivals and, and stuff. And then I, after this festival season in Europe, I go to South America in September. That's a long tour in South America. <laughs> but, America. Yeah, it's good. It's rock and roll yeah. and it's good. The, the energy of the Spanish people is like nothing else, you know, it's just this the Latin energy is massive yeah, um, they... and dedication. And, and um, when I see my Spanish friends, they're always like, want to do some fiesta and they want to have fun. And, and um, you will have a great time, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I, I know that. I know that. I'm always kind of, as an artist, to go to South America is like, it's such a, it's hard. The distances are long. Uh, you fly, you don't go with a tour bus like in the nightliners, like in Europe, you can't drive those distances. You need to fly in and out. It's hard, but um, the fans are so insanely beautiful that they give you so much love and energy when you're performing. 
so you last <laughs> until the very end. When it's time to go back home, you're like, okay. then then it kind of hits me. Always it hits me. I am I am getting tired, of course. I'm not a machine either, but but um, it's um, it's really something. Fans are really appreciating when you go over that far. You you come so far, uh, and uh, they really appreciate the fact that you're there. And that's one. Hey, but it was so nice to see you again, Torsten. I miss you dearly. You need to know that. We all miss you, my family, Naomi, Marcelo, and uh, we miss the girls, and we miss the island of Antigua. So really hope to to go there soon again and meet up with you. Oh, you need to come over here in Spain and <laughs> come come here to join us. It's not that far from Germany. You could take a detour and come here. <laughs> well, I mean, it has. We have to see. We have to see each other at some point. So there's no excuses. Um, we have to go come back to that at yeah. some hundred percent. Exactly, exactly. But have a great time with your family now and uh, have nice shows as well there. And it was so lovely to talk to you again. I miss you. And much success with all your shows. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ah, oh, that was so nice. Thank you for thank you for being there with us today. It was a short chat, but really, really nice to see him again. I hope you will really enjoy our baby. You need to see at least the, the vinyl version is so ah oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, and um, we didn't get to answer any of your questions because you are like a millions of them coming in and giving but um check it out our outlanders album it's something different i hope you like it thank you merci gracias danke taksomke kiitos See you soon. See you next time in Czech Republic. In a couple of days, we shall rock in the Masters of Rock. Yeah. See you, people. Love you. Mwah.